Combine RPG elements, interesting puzzles, and some cute simplistic pixel art, and you have The Escapist 2. For those of you that missed out on the first Escapist game, it came out back in 2015 and it was a prison themed puzzle RPG that had you playing as a prisoner trying to escape prison. Escapist 2 launches on PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC this week, and it follows the same gameplay as the first game while adding in a bunch of new features into the mix that I'll touch on a bit later. When you start off Escapist 2, you'll find 10 prisons to play through that get progressively more difficult with new features, puzzles, and security. For anyone that's watching this review thinking that gameplay looks really complicated or intimidating, there is a tutorial prison that pretty much walks you through the basic elements of a prison, following the rules of the prison, crafting tools, and how to use those tools to escape. It's definitely not the most in-depth tutorial, and what you learn from it won't immediately give you the answer to solving all the prisons obviously, but it does give a good foundation for new people just starting the series with Escapist 2. On a real non-tutorial prison, the guards will quickly give you a tour of the prison showing you where to find everyday facilities that you'll have to interact with like the dining hall, showers, job office, and the exercising room. This is where you'll want to take note of where everything is because every prison is designed differently though it has a variation of each thing mentioned prior. After the tour, you're dropped into the meat of the game as you start off your first day in prison. As the day goes, you'll begin to learn the rhythm of the prison. Wake up, go to roll call, get breakfast, go to your job or try to get a job, and so on and so forth. This is your time to analyze the prison, what are its weak points, when is the best time to escape, and what tools do you need for the escape. It's all really left up to the player to figure out, and there's actually multiple ways to escape, so it's not just trying to figure out the correct way to escape, but it's pushing your creativity and critical thinking to find a way to escape. In my first playthrough of the first prison, it took me about 4 days to escape using shovels, pickaxes, and a prisoner dummy model. After trying again multiple times, I figured out a way to escape using a simple costume and some extra items, in less than a day. It really does go to show that there are multiple escape routes, sometimes on two very ends of the difficulty spectrum, and it's just up to you to figure them out. Figuring out ways to escape is the puzzle half of Escapist 2, but the other half comes from its RPG elements that factor into the escapes. Your character has stats that play into the way they, will play. Lifting weights will increase your strength, giving you the upper hand in melee fights with other inmates or even guards if you engage them. The combat in Escapist 2 has been improved slightly from the first. You can now guard along with charging up your punches to give a bit more strategy to the fighting in the game. On top of your strength, there's your fitness and your intellect levels that affect your character's movement, as well as the items they're able to craft, and these can be improved with working out and studying in the library. Stamina and health play a big part as well. Health is pretty much self-explanatory, but the stamina is your energy to do labor. This labor can consist of things like digging a hole out of the prison, so you'll want to stay energized with food when you get the chance. The RPG elements and the micromanagement that they bring alongside them to the game definitely add to the challenge of juggling trying to escape, coming up as a good inmate to the guards, and also improving your stats for a more easy escape. Back from the original game is the character creator, and it's a bit more robust than the first game, giving you more customizable options for your character, but still pretty simple in design. You'll unlock new items and features for your characters as you play the game and escape out of prisons, giving you more reasons to go back and play through prisons even after you completed them. Speaking of replay value, there is quite a bit here. On top of going back to unlock new items for your characters and trying to escape prisons in new ways, there is now a multiplayer component to the prisons. You can now play cooperatively with a friend or compete in a race to escape first against friends both online or locally. Multiplayer was a big request from players in the first game, so having both the option to play not just locally but also online is a welcome addition to the series. Now one teammate can do a job while the other one steals items to craft tools for an escape. It's certainly going to change up and make for some interesting escape routes. Usually the game adopts the same cute retro art from the first game, but don't let the simple graphics trick you, the game can get quite violent at times. Visuals overall though get a slight boost in quality since the original game, but for the most part the art style is pretty much the same. Escapist 2 offers multiple music tracks that play during different times of the day as well as in different prisons. They're all right, nothing too catchy but also nothing entirely annoying either. They fit and decently fade into the background as you plan out your escape of prison. Escapist 2 is a really fun puzzle game with a unique RPG twist to it. A lot of the issues and complaints of the original game are fixed in the sequel like the addition of a new multiplayer mode, new methods to escape along with a handful of new items that you can craft as well. The lack of clarity in how to do things really plagued the first game and it's slightly better in this game though I can definitely see some players needing some more in-depth tutorials at times than the one that's just provided. 
It'll definitely show you the basics no doubt, but with a game like this, sometimes the basics just won't be enough for the more complicated prisons, and that's pretty much left up to you to figure out. For those of you that like the challenge, you'll love that. But for those of you that like better explanations with your games, you might find The Escapist 2 to be a bit too frustrating. If you think you're up for the learning curve, I'd recommend checking out The Escapist 2. It's definitely made me feel like a genius when I finally figure out how to escape out of a prison, only to feel like an idiot later on when I find an easier route. To be honest, that's part of the fun though. That's my review of The Escapist 2. If you have any questions about the game, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed the content, consider dropping a like and subscribing for more videos on Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. I understand that even at twice the speed of light, your journey will take 15 years. That's right. We'll be traveling so fast, our spacecraft will arrive at the planet before the transmission of this interview does. How do you prepare for this one-way mission, knowing you will never return to Earth? I have a crew of very skilled and focused individuals. We all have a deep desire to explore. And frankly, we also have few attachments here on Earth. You weren't always alone, though, right? I am told you were once married. Yes, that's right. Years ago. But then, your wife turned up missing one day. Yes, ma'am, and I... went looking for her. I searched for her... day and night. Station.